Hi, I'm Cloud Lots of Ninety Nine, and this is Clouds and Talk. And today, the card of the week is this Tommy La Stella Auto Rookie. I've just recently started a PC of Tommy La Stella, and this is a great way to open it off. It's in pretty good condition. I'd probably give it a uh, 8.5 to 9 on the grading. Really cool car. It's authenticated. I'm a huge fan of it. Let's get into our next segment, which is All Star voting in the MLB and the top the top ten vote getters in each of the and each of the leagues in the AL. We have Mike Trout, George Springer, Michael Brantley, Austin Meadows, Mickey Betts, Eddie Rosario, Aaron Judge. Joey Gallo, Josh Reddick, and Matt Scuppler. While in the NL, you have Cody Bellinger, Christian Yelts, Ronald McCune Jr., Alvo Almora Jr., Jason Hayward, Nick Marquinkus, Chad Peterson, Kyle Schroeder, Charlie Blackman, and Bryce Harper. To kick things off with the NL, first baseman vote dealers are Josh Bell, Freddie Freeman, Anthony Rizzo. And i glad Rizzo is in there. I'm a huge Rizzo, Rizzo fan. Because I'm a big Cubs fan, I once met him in the hotel this year when they were in Seattle playing the Manors, and I got to talk to him for a few minutes, and it was really cool. Then the top vote getters for second base is Ozzy Albies, Mike Moustakis, and Cattell Marte. I have no argument there. And then third base, you have Nolan Arenado, Chris Bryant, and Josh Donaldson. And I'm, I'm a huge Bryant fan. He's my favorite player in all of Rebel Me. And he's, I'm glad he's going to get into the all game. But, like, come on, it's Nolan Arenado. Is someone really going to dethrone him? I don't think so. He's amazing. And then shortstop, you have the little Javier Baez. And then Dansby Swanson and Corey Seager. I'm glad Harvey Baez is in there. I'm a huge Baez fan. I have him on pretty much almost all my fantasy teams. And he hasn't been doing as amazing. He's been in a recent slump. I'm hoping he breaks out of it. But I'm glad he's the top vote getter in the shortstop for NL. Then in the AL first base, we have Luke Roy, CJ Cohn, Carlos Santana. And then second base, you have Tommy LaStella, who is now teammate DJ LeMahieu. And I'm so glad that Tommy LaStella made it. I'm a huge Tommy LaStella fan. And I loved him on the Cubs. And I'm just, I'm glad he's doing well. And I'm excited to see him, what he can do. And I'm very glad he's going to be an all-star. And I'm excited to watch him in the game. Third base, you have Alex Redman. Duro Shaw and Hunter Dozer. I have no audio there. And then on short stops, you got Holly Polanco, Carlos Reyes, and Gleyber Torres. I think Tim Anderson should be there. He's number four. That's just my opinion. I feel like Tim's been tearing it up, and he's been doing great. We'll see if he gets in or not, though. You never know. He can make it. He can not. You just don't. You never know. And then, in NL catchers, you have Wilson Contreras, Brian McCann, J.C. Lamento. I'm very happy that my boy Wilson Contreras is in there. I'm a huge Contreras fan. He's been tearing it up this year. And I just can't wait to see what he does in the All-Star game. Then the NL outfield, you got Cody Bellinger. Christian Yelch, Ronald Lacuna Jr., Jack Peterson, Albert Almora Jr., Charlie Blackman, Jason Hayward, Kyle Schwabel, Alex Rodrigo, and Bryce Harper as the top ten. Three of them are Cubs, and I'm glad. I'm a huge Cubs fan, and Almora is one of them. He's my second favorite player I've met. I met him the same night I met Rizzo. It was a great experience. Got to talk to him for a bit, too. And it, it was just really cool, and I would like I've loved him for a long time, and I'm glad he's doing well. Top vote getters for ALDH are J.D. Martinez, Hunter Pence, and Nelson Cruz, with Otani and Stanton being 4 and 5. I do think Otani's going to pass Hunt, 
I think Chris will pass Pence, and then Otani will pass Pence, and, and Otani will make the All-Star game. That's just my opinion, but we'll see what actually happens. Then, AL Ketchel, we have Gary Sanchez, J, J, James McCann, and Jason Castro. No argument there for me. However, uh, actually, that's not true. Omar Narvaez for the Manos, he's been doing pretty good. He should be in it, I think. And then outfield, obviously, Mike Trout, then George Spino, then Austin Meadows, then Michael Brantley, Mickey Betts, Eddie Rosario, and Judge, Joey Gallo, Josh Reddick, and Max Kepler. All the other outfielders, I think those are some good choices. And yeah. And then, yeah. And then I'm going to give my take on why, on. Vogelback, Daniel Vogelback, he's been tearing up, he is very underrated, and I'm gonna go and just, like, he should definitely be in the, uh, home run derby, and if he's not, I'm gonna be angry, because he totally deserves it, he's doing amazing, and then, he might, I mean, I don't, I wanna say all-star game, but he has a lot of power, and he should definitely be in the home run derby. He's slugging 543. He has 42 RBIs. Uh, batting 256. But I personally think batting average is kind of irrelevant. He has 18 home runs, a 1.8 wall. And his on base percentage is 396. And he's just. He's doing really well. And I. He definitely deserves to be. And the home run derby, you could argue maybe even he should be in the also game, but I don't think so yet. Give him a few more years. Jay Bruce, Bruce should also be in the home run derby. Cody Ballinger for sure. And you could throw in Javier Baez. He's been having a good year. However, he has been in a slump. But, yeah, sorry for the short cards and talk this week. I struggled. I was trying to get a guess for this week, and it just didn't fall through with the slow ending for most people. And this one was kind of rushed. I apologize for that. That won't happen again as I'll be hitting summer. And stay tuned on my cards and talk Instagram at cards underscore and underscore talk. Well, I will be making a huge announcement tomorrow about the future of Carlton Talk, so stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Bye.